The FSA ID is a username and password used to log into the U.S. Department of Education online systems. The FSA ID is your legal signature and shouldn't be created or used by anyone other than yourself, not even your parent, your child, a school official, or a loan representative. You'll use your FSA ID each year you fill out your free application for federal student aid and for the lifetime of your federal student loans. How do you get the FSA ID? You will visit the studentaid.gov forward slash FSA ID forward slash create account. You'll need your social security number, your name, and your date of birth. Your name and social security number should match what is on your social security card. Please note, if your last name exceeds the number of allotted fields, just continue, continue typing until you're not allowed to do so. This happens a lot of time with hyphenated names. Please note, your coordinators have FSA ID worksheets so that you can keep track of your FSA ID, username, and password. You can also keep track of your challenge questions. You are going to log into that web address and click on the blue button that states, get started. You're gonna complete the requested information. You'll be required to provide either an email address and our mobile phone number when making your FSA ID. I suggest entering a mobile number as well as your email address to make it easier to research your account if needed. You will also need to set up challenge questions. You're going to review and certify that the information that you entered is correct. You will then verify your mobile number and then your email address. Now, quick recap. You're going to enter your email address, create a username and password, enter your name, date, and social security number as it appears on your social security card. You're going to enter your mobile number, set up four challenge questions, read and accept the terms, verify your mobile number, and verify your email address. Some FSA ID tips. Remember what is needed in order to set up your FSA ID. You're going to need your social security number, your full name, as it appears on your social security card and your date of birth. You're going to create a memorable username and password. Complete the challenge questions. Make sure these are question and answers that you can remember. Remember to provide a mobile number and email address in case you need to reset your ID. Your email address should be an email that you will always have access to. So no CCSD or no high school email addresses. One parent will also need to set up an FSA ID if you are a dependent student. And only one person will be able to use that email address that is entered to create your FSA ID. So please make sure your parents enter their email address. You will have to wait one to three days for the Social Security Administration to verify your information in order to log in. The FAFSA opens up on October 1st, so make sure you do your FSA ahead of time. If you forget your FSA ID, simply go to the login page, click on forgot my username or forgot my password. The links are on the login page. Now remember, you will need your FSA ID each time you submit your FAFSA for FAFSA renewal or signing a master promissory note. Thank you for tuning in to the financial aid series on FSA ID. See you next time.